हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ इजीली इन फ्यू सिंपल स्टेप्स यू कैन क्रिएट अ इमेज क्लासिफिकेशन मॉडल यूजिंग टेंसर फ्लो लाइट मॉडल मेकर दिस टेंसर फ्लो लाइट मॉडल मेकर इज बिल्ट ऑन टॉप ऑफ ऑब्वियसली टेंसर फ्लो एंड क्रिएटेड बाय गूगल एंड द होल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन and use cases are explained here on their official web page and today we are going to look at image classifier so let's get started i have my visual studio code open and i have created a python notebook the code and the data set used in this tutorial is available on my github repository and the link for that is in the description as well also there is a full readme file available on the github repository so it will guide you better the data set used in this video is downloaded from roboflow roboflow is a free and uh, it is a kind of a hub for image data sets basically object detection and classification in this tutorial i have used fruits data set you can download it here or you can get the data set from the git repository as well so let's get started let's first import the required packages this data loader package will load the data set this image classifier will create a classifier and tensorflow and numpy we will use to predict on a single sample and matplotlib to plot the images now the data set is in this kind of fashion under data set there is a train folder and under train folder there is a separate folder for each class and inside that the images of that particular class are there so if your data set is not in this fashion i suggest you should you know run a, or create a python file and make your data set into this fashion and i hope you can do it oh it's showing ipy widgets error so let me install that so that you know we don't run into any error this happens all the time that i start recording video and my internet connection went off or people starts screaming outside my house or you know vehicle moves around my house but i hope it works now i connected to my mobile data set okay it says you need to restart let me restart this let me clear the output of each cell as well so now let me run this again now this will load the data set into data variable and data loader has a method called split so i will split the total data and to train data set and rest data set with 0.8% training and 0.2% is rest data set and again i will split the rest data set into half and i'll make validation data and test data you can read more about data loader here there are two methods from folder and from tf data set let me load the data so you can see that it has loaded around 200 2909 uh, images with six labels let's visualize the images so these are the images tomato 4 tomato 4 tomato 3 i think uh, there is something wrong with my environment 
so the black color we are not able to see let me change this to white okay you can see tomato 4 tomato 4 tomato 3 and tomato cherry red now let's create the model now let me go to the documentation that is create now this tf light model maker image classifier has a create method which has many parameters as we can expect but two things we need to take look at one is train whole model and then second is use augmentation so if you don't get high accuracy i suggest you use augmentation and make it true and still if after using augmentation you don't receive good accuracy you should train the whole model now model specification at this point this tf light model maker supports efficient net 0 1 2 3 4 and mobile net v2 and resnet 50 but i suggest you should go with the default efficient net light 0 so I have used the same thing for the demonstration purpose i have just used one epoch so let me run this let me rejoin the video again once the training is completed you can see that the training is completed now since i have run it for just one epoch for the demonstration purpose you can see the model summary here and you can see here the model training is completed since the data set is fairly small and easy to identify you can see the validation accuracy is around one now let's test the model the the model created by this create method has a method called evaluate called evaluate and predict top k so what we will do we will first see the loss and accuracy on test data then get the prediction of the test data and we will visualize the test data and see if we can you know find any uh, misclassification By the way, if you have a fairly large data set and slow hardware, you can you know move this notebook to Google Colab and train your model there and download the model locally and then use it for further development. So you can see on the test data, we almost got accuracy one. Now we got the prediction. Just let me change this to white so that we can see it so what this will do this will if the prediction is wrong it will change the color of that uh, image to red otherwise it will be white i think we don't have any misclassification here but if there was a misclassification the color of the text of that image label of that image would have been red now let's since you can see in just simple three steps we have developed the model now let's export the model into models directory you can see it's empty at this point let me run this file let me run this cell and you can see the name of that model I have chosen fruit underscore underscore classifier dot tf light you can choose any name but tf light extension is must it will take uh, you know like two three minutes depends on your hardware configuration you can see that the fruit classifier dot tf light model is created inside models directory now this is a simple to function the first function loads the model and create an interpreter 
and second will read the image from image path and provides a prediction so let me run this now i have set the path to one of the training sample walnut so let's run this and you can see we got the prediction class 5 and if you go here walnut is the fifth class so this 0 1 2 3 4 and 5th let's say tomato yellow let me grab an image copy this relative path provide it here and let me run this you can see we got the class number four again it's the four class zero one two three and the fourth class so i hope you have gained some knowledge from this quick video tutorial the takeaway here is that if you have not too much knowledge on development of machine learning models you can use tensorflow light model maker and create uh, image classifier model very easily in few simple step and store it take it anywhere and you know provide the sample image and get the prediction that's all from this video see you in the next video thank you for watching if you like my work please subscribe to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace